I'm pretty, I'm pretty routine with what I eat in the mornings at least, because I like breakfast is like my favorite meal of the day. So I'll usually choose between some like something usual like scrambled eggs, bacon, some bagels like that, or I'll just make like oatmeal with some fruit if I'm feeling like I want to be a little bit more lighter that day. If you're eating poorly all the time and you're not doing the right things, and that's naturally just gonna show on the court and naturally show like in your game. I have really uh, flat feet and my ankles kind of pronate in. So working on like my arches and stuff to like help just everything else throughout my rest of my leg. This just like loosens up my arches. And then there's a certain, there's certain like exercises and stuff I do with this band right here. Just for like my toes. I usually do some mobility stuff, just some lower body stuff for my hips. Like I said, some stuff for my strengthening for my feet and my ankles. Just anything that I feel needs to be atten attended to, that's what I usually do. Because I listen to my body a lot of the time. So if I feel good and I feel great, like I won't feel the need to do as much stuff. But say one week I'm feeling more sore in a certain place or anything like that, I'll focus on that. My biggest influences for basketball are both my parents because they both grew up playing in Canada. Um, my mom's still coaching now. My dad coached me when I was younger. My mom coached me as well too. So I was always around it. I was a very big basketball family. So I owe them a lot to like for where I am now. But for like watching basketball inspiration, probably be Michael Jordan too. Because my, my parents used to tape the games on VHS tapes. So the videos have like stacks and rows and rows of these like key Michael Jordan games, iconic games. So I would just watch those over and over again. Um, the mental side of sports is definitely something that's been overseen in the past. And I have like a, I have a mentor that actually got me really involved with meditation and practice breathing and stuff like that. So that's something I try to do if I'm ever feeling anxious or nervous thinking about the game. I'll also do some like box breathing before I go to bed. I'll do it before the game starts. Just kind of just like to reset my mind and just focus on like the, the now and not be too worried about like whatever else is going on, just to be completely invested in the moment so that I can perform the best I can. I, I enjoy being in Newcastle. Um, it's not as cold as people, I think it would have been because I'm from Canada obviously too, so I'm used to the cold weather. But I definitely enjoy it. It's nice being in the city, it's nice being able to walk, walk to places, walk and get food, walk and go see a movie, just, just stuff like that. Cause I like being, it kind of reminds me like, being in college again, because it's like, it's nice to be able to just to be close to everything. If people always say like, look good, feel good, play good, like that's always like a saying I've heard in basketball, but like, honestly, it's just kind of a ritual I have. And like, especially if we're gonna be on TV tomorrow, trying to look good, but yeah. Saul knows I come here every, like pretty much every Thursday before our game. So he's always getting me right. It's just part of the routine. But after this, the rest of the time before the game, tonight I'm probably gonna, just head back, get some dinner, and then go through like my stretching routines, just get my body feeling right, see what's not feeling good, see what's feeling good, just work on that, and then get to bed early, get a good sleep before the game tomorrow. You don't really know how much important like the fan atmosphere is until you don't have it. So after playing through a whole season with that, and even a little bit this summer, I was in Canada playing with that, definitely nice to have just the crowd back just to give you that energy and the atmosphere that you, like we've all we've all missed really